Find the total surface area of the composite solid. Okay, this is an ice cream cone, right? You have a hemisphere on top of a cone. And if we just rotate that a little bit, I'm just going to put it into color for a second. There it is. That's its original color. And remember, you can change the color to anything you like. Uh, relatively anything you like. Provided that that color happens to be gray. Let me see if I can make it into... There we go. Blue. That's fine. Okay, so we can see the radius is 1.5 centimeters, and the height is 2.54, we can see, and right here we can see the slant height. I'm just going to turn the color off for a second, so we can see that a bit better. 2.95. Now the problem is it's always attached, the slant height here, so it's kind of hard to read it, but that's 2.95. You can read it as it passes. Okay. All right, let's just rotate the shape around a bit, just to get an idea of what it looks like three-dimensionally. And there we go. And rotate it that way if you like. Okay, so it's just falling end over end. Uh, the ice cream's falling. Okay, so then back into our calculations. All right, so the radius is 1.5 centimeters, and the slant height is the 2.95 centimeters. Not 2.5, not 2.96, let me fix that. Okay, and we're looking at the lateral surface area. We're looking at the rounded bits up here. So it's the lateral surface area of a hemisphere, and we're looking at this part down here, which is the lateral surface area of a cone. Okay, you notice we never see the base of the cone, it's being covered up by the hemisphere. And we never see the base of the hemisphere, it's covered up by the cone. So lateral surface area of the hemisphere plus the lateral surface area of the cone. Okay, hemisphere, a sphere, is 4 pi r squared. So we're looking at half that, so half of 4 pi r squared. Okay, and for a cone, the lateral surface area is just the perimeter of the base times the slant height divided by 2. Okay, so... The total surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. We're going to be doing half of that. That's going to give us 2 pi r squared. For the perimeter of the base, for the uh, lateral surface area of the cone, it's the perimeter of the base is like the circumference of the cone, right? So it's 2 pi r, the circumference, times the slant height divided by 2. Now we're doing 2 times pi r squared times slant height divided by 2, multiplying by 2, then dividing by, by 2. Um, we can just cancel those 2s, right? You're going to multiply by 2 and then half it, it's your back to square run, 1. So we have pi r squared times slant height. Okay, so here's our final version of the formula. I'll work down. So we have 2 pi r squared plus pi r times the slant height. I'm going to just feed in what we know. The radius as 1.5 and the slant height as 2.95. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. So 2 times pi times 1.5 all squared plus pi times 1.5 times 2.95. And it's handy dandy calculator time. So we have uh, 2 times pi times 1.5 squared plus pi times the 1.5 times 2.95 equals, and we get uh, 28.0387144, and that goes on forever. Okay, so I'm just going to round that to... Um, what I did is I rounded it off to about the fourth decimal place. So the four tells the one to stay one, and there we go. So the fifth decimal place. Okay, and then put the units in. All right, so I'm just going to plug that into the program here. And away we go. Like that, centimeters squared. Don't forget your units. And yay. All right, and that's it for a composite solid made of a hemisphere and a cone. Finding the total surface area. Have a good day.